With my first year at NDSU almost being concluded, I thought this might be the perfect time to reflect upon some of the adventures and challenges that I have overcome throughout the year. The weeks leading up to NDSU, I was scared. I didn't know what to expect. Everything sort of happened at once. You think you have the entire summer to prepare, but it comes sooner than you think. Time goes by so fast. I left around mid-August, and I was very nervous for the unknown. I was comfortable in Bismarck. I had a stable income, very good friends, and a family who I loved dearly. It was a place that I thought of as home. When the time came for me to leave, I said my last goodbyes to friends and family, took a few pictures, and I was off. I joined the march band and for the first week prior to school it was known as band camp and yes it was just as amazing as it sounds. I met so many friends this opportunity that I still talk to today. During this week I also met my friend Raven who came from North Carolina and was in a similar situation as me. Not wanting to be left out, Raven and I snuck into one of the orientation groups to get more familiar with campus. We got along really well. It was also during this week that I met my friends Mercy and Deborah. We were known as Team Oreo and I'm sure you could probably figure out why. My first trip for the Gold Star Marching Band was at Target Field, and that was when I learned about the power of the bison herd and the support for NDSU was just something that is so rare and incredible. During that first semester, it consisted of homework, going to events, and staying up till 2, getting tattoos, eating food and dancing, and also taking a trip to Valley Fair with some friends. Those memories sometimes don't go always as planned, but it was a very good learning experience for me. I love going on the rides, and even got a little scared by some of the attractions. Throughout the year, I made a few trips back to Bismarck, where I was able to meet up with some old college friends at BSC and see the production of She Kills Monsters. It was such a great show and really fun to see how the cast has improved over the years. It was also during this time that I took a trip to St. Louis to go to a fall convention for Hall Government known as McCurr, where I got to learn about how to improve the Hall experience. From going on kayaking adventures at 2 in the morning with freezing waters to playing cars in the hotel lobby to going to an amazing industrial park, it was such a great experience. I was able to better connect with not only friends from NDSU, but also other schools across the Midwest region. After this trip, things started to wind down and Christmas break occurs. It was during this time that we had our last home game of the season where we found out that we were going to Frisco, Texas come January. It was such a great way to end the season and a perfect ending, as some would say. During Christmas break, my family and I took a trip to Costa Rica. Seventeen of us went and it was a blast and such an eye-opening experience to get involved with other cultures of the world. Upon arriving back in Bismarck, it was time to load up and take off for Texas. 17 hours there and 17 hours back. It was a lot of driving, but the experience seeing the Bison take home the championship title and the bonding of other band members sure made it worthwhile. Throughout the rest of the semester, classes started to become a little more difficult, and I found myself working a little harder. It was also during this time that I was able to better get to know people I saw every day, such as Cameron, Deanne, and Sadi. These people are truly amazing. It was during these times that I continued to go to events, socialize people, and have that go-getter attitude. Further down the road, I became a bouncer for a diversity event on campus known as Somalia Night. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, which seemed to be a common theme throughout the year, but let me tell you, the people there, the food, and the dances were a really great experience for me to better understand the different cultures on campus. A few weeks later, spring break occurs, and that is when I find out campus closed down. I was shocked, nervous, and unsure of what the future had to hold. I spent so much time trying to get accustomed to campus and working to improve myself that to have it shot down so quickly was not something that I was very easy to get accustomed to. I would have never imagined that I would be finishing part of my engineering degree in my kitchen next to my dog Apollo, but I did. Looking back on this moment, however, I am pr very proud of the way my friends and I were able to accept this challenging circumstance. If it wasn't for James, Lucas, Joel, or Max, I have high doubts that I would have not been as successful as I've been. The common saying is that when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. It is so true. I've grown so much as a person because of the knowledge, discipline, motivation, and self-care. I have learned that life is not always about going as fast as physically possible, but it is instead um, trying to slowly invest in oneself little by little. Alright, so that was kind of a recap of my first semester here at NDSU, or my first year actually. Um, it was very fun, it went kind of fast. A lot of times I was just going through the motions, you know, and not sure what to expect, but that's okay. What's the worst that could happen, right? I find out I don't like it whatever. Um, yeah, uh, so it was also very interesting because the, of this whole COVID situation and having campus close early. Um, it was something that I was not used to. It was something that I would have never expected to occur in a million years. Um, but what can be admired by this is just the way that we were able to overcome this common obstacle together. Um, and I want to say that for those of you who are incoming freshmen here at NDSU, I hope your first year is also remembered. And I encourage you to get involved, to rise to the occasion, and to seize the opportunities that are presented to you. I don't want to see you lose a chance because you were too scared. Um, I am unsure of what the future has to hold, probably just like many of you, but I am confident that we will find our true selves as we work through these issues together. Um, uh, signing off, this is Nicholas Rourke, and I hope this video finds you in good hands, and I hope that you have an amazing day. Thank you very much.